All right, ladies and gentlemen, the subject for today is TikTok. And some of you might immediately be asking me, why in the world are you spending any time talking about TikTok? Well, I'll tell you why. Because TikTok is huge. Lots of people watch it. We're not on it. Well, technically, I guess I am because people tell me that my videos get replayed on TikTok all the time. But uh, <laughs> that's a whole other subject. But the reason why it is such a big deal is because TikTok is a great example of a tool that is oftentimes used to brainwash and program people, just like YouTube can be used that way, and just like Facebook and Instagram and X, dare I say, they're all there and they serve a very specific purpose. And one of the most significant purposes that it serves is the one that I believe the false prophet and the Antichrist will use one of these days. And we are living in the midst of a world that has gotten crazier and we are not surprised because the Bible has given us a massive warning concerning these things. This here is the Shark Tank star, Kevin O'Leary. We call him Mr. Wonderful, right? That's what he calls himself. And he gets asked about the idea of uh, TikTok being sold. Now, you're going to bear with me. I want you to watch some of this. I'm going to provide some commentary in the middle of his statement uh, right at the very beginning. And then I want you to watch what he has to say because I'm going somewhere with this. And I promise you it will make sense once you've watched this. So let's watch the report here. Not going to get banned because I'm going to buy it. I can put a syndicate together of debt and equity as long as I can get the blessing of the House because nobody wants to fund this thing if they think they're going to be bought politically. But if we make it all American, including the servers, I can get this deal done. I want to buy it. Mr. Wonderful wanting to buy TikTok as the Senate takes up a bill that could potentially ban it here in the United States or force a sale of the app, which is owned by Chinese company ByteDance. But it looks like he's going to get some competition. I understand the technology. It's a great business, and I'm going to put together a group to buy TikTok. You're trying to buy TikTok. By the way, just so you know, if you don't know who Steve Mnuchin is, he is the uh, former uh, Treasury Secretary for Donald Trump, a pretty uh, smart guy financially, and he wants to buy TikTok. So I, st I want you to understand who he is if you don't know who he is. And uh, let's continue watching. This is very interesting. I am, because this should be owned by a U.S. U.S. businesses. There's no way that the Chinese would ever let a U.S. company own something like this in China. Ha you say, have you already put a group together? No, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm working You're on exploring it. exploring a group. I, I've spoken to a bunch of people. Okay, let's bring in Kevin O'Leary, chairman of O'Leary Ventures and Shark Tank star and investor. Kevin, great to have you with us. Uh Pay attention to what he says here, folks, because what he says about TikTok is very insightful and we should kind of get a little bit of the mechanics of it. Uh, why TikTok is uh, something that a lot of people are concerned about. Remember, it's Chinese owned and every piece of data that TikTok collects is in the lap of the Chinese Communist Party. We all know that. But there are some very interesting implications that are coming as a result of what lawmakers are wanting to do. And this is where it becomes really interesting. Listen to what Kevin says about this. I don't want you to focus a lot on him wanting to buy it like Steve Mnuchin wants to buy it. One of these guys is probably going to end up buying it. I want you to focus on what he says about the mechanics of it and how it all works because I'm going somewhere with this and it's very important that you key in on the issue that not a lot of people are talking about, but I'm going to talk about it, okay? So key into this. I think it's great to see people like you and the former Treasury Secretary who are both interested in taking this and making it an American company. Um, how far have you gotten in this process, and what do you think about the fact that Mr. Mnuchin is also interested? I think there'll be lots of competition. I know of five different groups being formed, but we all face the same challenge. And in the end, there'll probably be only two at the table. Here's the problem. We don't yet know how to deal with the fact that the database, the Texas project it's called, of American people, that's sitting in American servers, Oracle servers in Texas, that's fine. But the algorithms that make this work, they're not here in America and they're never going to get here. The Chinese are never going to sell that. They passed that law in 2017 
and made it even harder in 2019. They do not allow companies like DanceBite to sell this technology anywhere. Okay, so I wanna make this very clear so you understand the difference between the two. The big concern with TikTok is that all database information about Americans was in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. But technically that's not the case in that the database that has all the information about Americans is actually located on a server farm that's in Texas. And there are a few other undisclosed locations around the country under American control where that database info is, like credit card uh, information, different things like that. But that is the lame part of it, right? Here's the part that people don't understand. They're lulled into a false sense of security thinking that the actual database info is in America and not under the control of the Chinese Communist Party, but the Chinese Communist Party could care less about that. What the Chinese Communist Party is really concerned with, and it's the part that they're never gonna let go of, is the actual algorithm, the artificial intelligence programming that they have written that actually intersects with that data. And what they don't realize is once that algorithm is well-developed as it is quite well-developed in the TikTok world, it doesn't need the database information that's in Texas because it knows how to access that information using other means because of the capacity that it has to be able to understand how the information moves, where it goes, where it sits. It knows the patterns of the people whose information it's proprietary to. So it knows how to read those things and that's what the Chinese wants. Think of it like this. You have a bunch of uh, pieces of paper and you are scared that anybody's going to get a hold of that paper so what you do is you say i want that paper to stay in this location where nobody can get it okay great what the chinese is doing through their algorithm is they're saying that's fine you can leave all the papers there but all of the employees that actually are reading those papers and interpreting the data on those papers they belong to us and they will never belong to you and the funny thing is Somehow we've mistakenly believed that the information on the database is actually valuable when in reality what's valuable are all of those employees, aka AI algorithm, have already learned the information and made of that information all of the things necessary to move forward and do what it does. It knows patterns of purchasers. It understands how people function and move and live and breathe. It exploits certain weaknesses that it finds as a result of people's patterns that they begin to develop. It creates analysis of the type of highs and lows and ebbs and flows of economic conditions. The data is nothing. What's more important is the algorithm and the algorithm is about to be separated from the data and the Chinese could care less. Now, why is that important for us? Pay attention to the rest of what Kevin O'Leary says and I'll get into why that is so significant and why that should mean something to each and every single one of you. Here we go. And so it won't be coming to the United States. So the challenge for all of us is putting syndicates together that will buy this, not knowing really what the cost is to recreate the algorithm that makes this platform work. And I remind everybody, in recent times, the last transfer of ownership of a significant social media platform was Twitter, yeah. syndicated at 42 billion, today mm -hmm. trading at between 12 and 18 on the mark to market for those investors on the debt and equity side who paid for it. This is still private, but you took it public today, you'd probably be down 60% mm -hmm. because that they also tried to change the algorithms on that. So it's not clear how that part's going to work. But here's the real problem. You have to sell this new co, this new company, this new American version to all of the users, the 5 million small businesses, all the advertisers, and that's where you have to choose your syndicate properly. Who's going to do right. that? I think I'm a pretty good steward of that process, so let the competition begin. So here's, I don't know if you're paying attention to this, and he's correctly saying this, he's aptly saying this, he's a brilliant man, okay? He's saying we have to figure out how to develop our own algorithm that will harness what this database has, has functioned as a launching pad for in the other world of TikTok. So, Here's where it's going to get really tricky. It's going to get tricky in that 
there is an insatiable appetite for people who use TikTok to want to stay on TikTok and want to experience the same way of life that they've developed within the economy of TikTok. You have business owners that rely on it. You have lots of people who are uh, dependent upon it, even for something as simple as entertainment or education. Those are all very valuable. And there are things, those are things that people are not willing to abandon. So why this becomes really important is guys like Kevin O'Leary are saying, we're going to take the hit. We know we're going to lose money, but it gives us an opportunity to create a new dialogue. It gives us an opportunity to create a new dictate, for lack of a better term, a, a new way to ma manage and manipulate the interaction that people have with us and the reason why he's spending that money. And you know how Mr. Wonderful is. You know how Kevin O'Leary is. He won't spend a dime on anything that he knows he can't turn into 100 dimes, okay? So he knows that when he changes the pattern for how the data is being processed, in that moment where people are going to be more forgiving about their experience for that first year or for that first six months, he's going to be able to harness so many more viable tools to pull more purse strings, more emotional strings than any company can ever do because people are going to be willing to take a few hits in order to experience what they've experienced with the hope that what they're going to experience is more. And the thing that's even more interesting about this is Americans specifically will be more inclined to trust TikTok knowing that it's being owned by other Americans, but what they don't realize is those other Americans will take every advantage of the machine that they have developed to exploit them. And they will get better at learning how that's done. And the moment they get better at learning how that's done, it will move in other areas. And when we keep talking about the economy of Revelation 13, we continue to see how this type of thing is going to happen. And folks, this is huge. Like, I want people to understand, this is absolutely no joke. And I want people to recognize how significant of a variable this can actually become. It's big, folks. It's major. It's a major deal. Look what he continues to say. And I want you to pay attention to what happens at the, at the rest of this video. And I'll explain why it's significant in a minute. We, hopefully, I'm drawing a gist of the picture for you here, why this is so important. I think you could, you know, market it in a, a way that is patriotic and that promises people a seamless crossover from one platform to the other platform, which obviously um, is, is a little bit tricky. But here's what Rand Paul said uh, this morning. He said this is completely un-American to try to ban TikTok in the United States. Um, watch this. This company is owned not by the Chinese communists. It's owned by 60 percent of them are international investors. 20% of it is the two inventors of it who are Chinese um, um, software engineers. And then 20% of the company is owned by their employees, including 7,000 Americans. I think all those people, if you accuse them of doing something like sharing data with the communist government, you have to prove that. You don't just get to accuse somebody of something and then take their company. What do you say to that? Kevin. It's a difficult challenge, and he's right. If you actually look at Dan Spike, there's many American investors. There's also sovereign wealth funds like ICH out of the United Arab Emirates and G42 also out of the United Arab Emirates. They're all shareholders. However, the Chinese government passed a law on domestic Chinese companies, including this one, Dan Spike. They simply can't transfer technology. And what Congress is worried about is a concept called cognitive warfare. And this is why the Indian government, when looking at TikTok, said no. They weren't going to let it happen. There's no TikTok in India. So unless That's you right. resolve this concept of cognitive yep. warfare, in other words, stop it from happening in the U.S., right. this thing is going to pass the Senate, too. And then the games will begin. Yes, I'd like to buy it after that All happens. Right. Kevin O'Leary, thank you very much. We've got some breaking news, but we're going to stay on that story. So this is crazy. Because if you now pick up on the last part of this sentiment in this video, you'll recognize right away that there's also an underlying tone that says this uh, ban of TikTok from the United States of America would be un-American. It would actually be wrong. And Kevin O'Leary is agreeing. He's saying yes. And he immediately takes advantage of the opportunity to piggy bank onto what Rand Paul just said regarding the international investors that have absolutely nothing to do with the Chinese Communist Party. Why is that such a big deal? 
because TikTok is not just an American phenomenon. TikTok is a global phenomenon. But if it's based in America, it creates a launching pad of trust to be able to harness the ability to bring in more people knowing where it actually comes from and opening up a door for more significant things to happen. By the way, it's interesting. Facebook for sure wants TikTok banned. If TikTok gets banned, Facebook grows. And we know that this is a meta thing. Meta really wants this to happen. And there's a lot of reasons why uh, the current president or the former president of the United States doesn't want this to happen. He doesn't want it to happen right now because I think he wants to negotiate how it's going to go when he becomes a president. That's a whole other side issue. But the bigger issue here is that this is a prime example of an open door that is, you know, in just a, an unbelievable way, opening up so that people will be able to harness the power of the technology that we have in front of us to manipulate a world that is desperate and hungry to numb themselves desperate and hungry to educate themselves in certain ways, desperate and hungry to find relationships that they normally wouldn't be able to find, desperate and hungry to do anything that they can to bring a semblance of peace to their hearts that they've not been able to do in the past because of how crazy things have become. Folks, we are living in these days and it is unbelievable. I, 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 we, are, I, we are watching a manifestation of God setting up the ground for the theater that we know is going to play out in these last days. I want you to do me a favor and I want you to pay more attention to stories like this. I want you to keep your ear very close to that ground and watch out because there are, all these dots are beginning to connect and this was an important one, all right? Keep your eyes on the Lord, folks. This has Revelation 13 written all over it. It's a pretty amazing story. We're going to continue to watch it. We'll make you aware of everything that's going on. And make sure, make sure you guys are telling people about this. It's really important. And I do want to say this. Um, I'm just grateful for the fact that you guys support us on this channel and that you continue to subscribe and you tell people about us. It really means a lot. And I cannot tell you how much I'm grateful for it. This is way more about numbers and likes and so on and so forth. It's all about expanding the kingdom of God. And I'm so thankful for you guys doing that. We love you. God bless you. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep your eyes open, folks. A lot's changing.